Hey there once again, this is me, G, and Lasala of Pageant Talks, and we are now at the part two of my interview with the island girl, Iris Salguero, Miss Universe Belize 2020 slash 2021, because mm-hmm. technically there was no pageant last year. So, Iris, hello, how are you again? Hi. Hey. So good. I'm so good. So excited for this interview. You know, I mean, the whole process of preparing for Miss Universe is just, it's exciting to me. There's a lot of growth in it and I love challenges. So I'm prepared for this. Amen. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're now down to our second part of the interview. And um, yeah, it is a tradition to all of the queens that I'm interviewing who is uh, about to compete in any kind of pageant. We are going to do keywords. And um, apparently I don't have the cards because again... We got confused with time zones. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, I know. it's okay. But all right. So in my notes here, I have six keywords. Okay. Just to show everyone that I've prepared something. So Iris, I just want you to pick a number from one to six. And then um, I'm going to give you the keyword and you're going to give me an opinion about that keyword or topic. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, so number three. Number three is global hunger. Okay, so it's here. I'm not cheating, guys. It's there. Uh, I'm not sure if you could read it. Global hunger. What can you say about global hunger? Well, I think that global hunger is an issue that we've been fighting for so many years. And I, it's very saddening to know that there are people that are going without a guaranteed meal. But I think that as, uh, is, as individuals, we were to all chip in our little grain of salt. And if we were to donate just $1 or to volunteer, we would be able to end this issue. Of course, love and compassion and being considerate for others is always the answer. So we need to remember that as individuals, we all need to do our part. And together, we can achieve and overcome any struggles. Nice. Wow. That was a very condensed <laughs> answer. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I think you'll be able to answer everything. So, okay, <laughs> next. Can you pick another number? Number three is out. Okay, number five. Number five is COVID-19 vaccination. So, what can you COVID-19 say? COVID-19 yeah. vaccination. Well, yeah. I feel very for technological advances that we can see a light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully get to a place where we can have a healthy environment as well and be able to embrace our loved ones. Something that through 2020, we weren't able to do. So I encourage everybody that once the vaccine is available to go and get vaccinated, but meanwhile, still be responsible with your actions. And remember that to take care of others, you need to take care of yourself first. So keep wearing your mask, social distance, stay home if necessary, and always wash your hands. Yay. Okay. Wow. (laughs) You are such a gem, Iris. So anyway, okay. Number five is out and number three is out. Pick a number. I'm going to go with one. Okay. Number one (laughs) is um, HIV AIDS awareness. So what can you say about HIV AIDS awareness? So uh, before you answer that, in the Philippines, it's still a rising case of uh, HIV. There's still an increasing number of HIV AIDS cases and um, we are actually still on, you know, uh, sounding our alarm bells. So, okay, Iris, um, just briefly say your um, opinion about HIV AIDS awareness. Well, when we think of awareness, we always think of education and there is power in education as many times as we repeat it to the point where it seems cliche, but that is true. And so with HIV awareness, the best thing that we can do is educate not only the youth, but everybody that is involving themselves in a sexual life or simply in in educating them in the disease, how it works how we can prevent it, how it can be safe, and most importantly, to show love and respect to persons that are living with this disease because they are still human beings and deserve the same equal treatment as we do. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. My throat is getting dry. So, number one, number three, number five is out. Okay. Give me another number. I'll go with six. Okay. Legalization of marijuana. Okay. Well, with life, like I said before, there's always positive and negative, but we should always focus on the positive. And I think that with the legalization of marijuana, it it is used for medicinal purposes that can help people that are living with so many different diseases or medical conditions. So as individuals, we should embrace that, but we should be responsible to never abuse of these opportunities and never use or abuse drugs. 
Okay, wow. You know, I'm just going to give to you everything. Okay, number two is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> number two is uh, racism. What can you say about racism? I think that in such a modern time, after so many people that have fought against racism, that it's still alive in our country, in our communities, in our world. And I think that I want to encourage people to look past skin color, to look past race, because we are all human beings. We all want love. We all want respect. We all want equal opportunity. And that's what this generation is fighting for. And so we need to focus more on love and compassion and unity. Nice. Okay. <laughs> You aced everything, Iris. So, okay. So, the last one is um, data privacy. What can you say about data privacy? With data privacy, what I can say that is if we are ensuring companies, organizations, or even our own government with important uh, information, private information, we shouldn't have to compensate respect over privacy, over safety. We should be able to have both options. We should be able to still communicate and share as many information as we want through our socials, but keeping in mind to respect that. Wow, okay. <laughs> so Iris, you're the first one who actually just consumed every all the uh, Really? Uh, yeah, like there's six or something. <laughs> I'm only. trying my best. So... I'm still working with my speech coach as well <laughs> to refine a few things, but I'm glad I could, I could get through with it. But that's actually very good because like uh, your answers are short, but they're actually very meaty. So thank you so much, Iris. You've breezed thank through you. the part two of this, um, you know, the keyword. So now final word. Now the final word, ladies and gentlemen, is, you know, similar to Miss Universe, we're in, you know, let's just put ourselves ears that you're in the top three. Probably, <laughs> let's say, with Miss Philippines and Miss Cambodia, two of my favorites. So let's say I know. So you're the top three. You have your final word. Okay, I have three questions. So number one, what do you want the world to know about Iris Salguero? What I want the world to know about Iris Salguero is her story filled of resilience, courage, and that I hope to make a change in this world by inspiring young women to take up space in male-dominated industries. And that we are capable, that we are all capable and worthy of love and respect. Oh, nice. I love that. <laughs> okay, now. Oh my gosh, it's I feel I feel terrible now that I didn't prepare so many questions for oh, this okay. part. <laughs> so number two, um, what qualities do you have that can be of an inspiration to women as Miss Universe? Can you, do well, you want along to with my, No, it's okay. okay great. <laughs> along with my story, I think that some qualities that I have are resilience, to show the resilience and strength in women. I'm a very vocal person and I want to be that voice for the women that suffer in silence. And I want women to what I want women to take from me and my story is that we are capable of so many things. Our capabilities are endless and we have so much to offer to the table. But as women, we need to learn to support each other first so that we can accomplish all these changes that we want to see in our community. Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so enjoying this. So <laughs> oh, I feel terrible now. I just prepared like a No, few don't, questions. don't. <laughs> do another video with just questions where you I can know. train me. <laughs> we can do live interviews next time, okay? So, yes, number three and final question. Why should you be the next Miss Universe? 2020. Again, I feel like all these questions, yeah, I feel like all these questions tied to my story because that's my biggest reason for being a Miss Universe. I think that I should be a Miss Universe because of the strong story that I have to inspire young women, to encourage young women to take up that space in male-dominated industries, to, to be the change that we want to see, but to start by empowering each other. I think that many times society or even weep in ourselves against each other. And we need to remember that queens fix each other's, each other's crowns and we uplift each other. If we want to see that change that we want in the community, in our countries, in the world, equal rights, equal respect, we need to start showing that love and respect to each other. Nice! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you are amazing, Iris. Oh I'm glad goodness. you're enjoying yourself. I know, and then you know what? The world 
or the universe rather, according to Pierre Words back. <laughs> the universe to, rather. Yeah, needs to hear from you. Sorry, <laughs> needs to hear from you. And um, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to have met you. You're a diamond in the rough. Uh, you're such Thank a gem. You. And uh, you're, a, you're a hidden treasure. So I, I praise the Lord Jesus Christ for you. I praise the Lord that we met. And I do, you know what? Sometimes I wonder why the Lord keeps on like letting me meet women that are in, in lesser known countries. And one of the words that the Lord impressed me with is trailblazer or trailblazing. So we're mm-hmm. going to start things together, Iris, with Romeo. As well as, you know, with the things that I've done in the past, uh, starting things together with the other African countries, you know, pioneering something. And yeah, Iris, you're so impressive. Um, Thank you. And And hopefully through God and through training and my mentors and you and everybody that's helping me so much and preparing me so much that it will only get better from here on and that I'll be able to make a great representation of my country and all my mentors and everybody that's been part of this journey that's rooting for me because I cannot let them down. So I'm taking this very, very seriously because it's it's really important to me. My platform is the biggest thing that I'm passionate about. Yeah, and I can see that in your eyes. I can see that burning desire and I really want to honor that and uh, declare it in the Lord Jesus Christ that he will continue to, you know, give you and shower you that love and inspiration that you follow him in this journey fix your yes. eyes on Jesus Christ all the time ask for his desire for this particular journey of yours and then what else could I say yeah in our private conversations I will say more but you have mentioned in your <laughs> you mentioned in for the now part. we will blaze our trail like you said and make our mark I know <laughs> and then on the first part of this interview you mentioned about keeping your intentions pure and that is very important. I've mentioned that to a lot of the girls that I've been talking to. Um, that, you know, everyone is called, everyone in the pageant, in the pageant are called to win. But the lady that will win is the one that has the purest of intentions. Yes. So, there's really, uh, you know what? A person who is very firm and confident in Christ about her purpose can never be, you know, nobody can go against that person. So like you, Iris, just continue to keep your intentions pure, focus, you know, remain steadfast in your in the work that the Lord has given you. Steadfast is better than faithfulness. It's commitment and faith working yeah. together. So, and then of okay. course, the love of the Lord, receive it, open your heart for His love. So before your final um, word uh, for everyone, Iris, can you get your crown and sash for us? I know we're very excited to see that, and I always get you know this um, joy um, every time I see. Ah! <laughs> I saw that sash before. <laughs> oh, oh okay, and the crown. crown. Yay! So there's a crown. I like. I actually like that it's so lightweight and just fits perfectly. And you know, I don't have to have something big to. I mean, I admire big crowns. <laughs> crowns, of course. You look at it and you're like, wow. But I can only imagine how heavy it is too. I mean, I had a bigger crown for Miss San Pedro, and I'm like, every time I would hold it like this to give my head a break. <laughs> so I'm yeah. happy, very happy with this one. And that is your color, right? It's blue. Is your color? Yes, and- blue is like my color. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it fits well with uh, a lot of the things that you'll be wearing soon. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> so, Iris, uh, I know. Yeah. So, do you have um, do you have any messages to your fans around the world and to your Filipino fans as well? Of course, my message to everybody is that I am so grateful to all the love that is being shown to me. That is my motto: show love and and surround yourself with love and exude it be the one thing that you nurture and make flourish in people as well so i'm grateful to everybody and i'm happy to have you all on this journey because this is not just about me like my fans my supporters are the ones that keep me motivated that keep me focused and i'm doing this not only for myself as a book for you guys and i hope to make every single one of you proud to my filipino fans that are always so supportive so warm thank you so much i love you guys and I hope that I can uh, continue to see your support and, and make you guys proud as well for whoever is rooting for me. And 
God bless every single one of you guys. And everything from here on is left in God's hands. What is for me will be for me. And what isn't for me, may it please just move out of my path. But may we achieve great things with this platform because Miss Universe is offering us an opportunity to create change in our community and to show that women are strong, women are beautiful, women are intelligent, and we're capable of achieving great things. We have so much to offer to our male counterparts. And, you know, it's time we start taking up that space. So thank you to everybody. And I can't wait to do great things. <laughs> yeah, so when you go to Miss Universe, please say hi to Rabia for me. Um, I okay. hope to like have an audience with her soon. I'll work on it and I'll mention you to her. I'm sure she's very, ex she'll be very excited to meet you too. So yeah, um, <laughs> Iris, thank you so much. Um, how do thank you, you, do you have like, do, do does Belize have a Creole? Do you have a Belizean Creole? Yes. So how do you, you do say, have a Belizean how do you say thank you in the Belizean Creole? Thank you. So it's just, it's, thank you. It's, thank you. Uh -huh. thank so you. it's without the H, and then it's just like why you instead of you, it's you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank yes, you, yes. Iris, and thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Too. It's been yes. a pleasure. I really enjoyed my time on this on on your video, and and I hope that people can get to know me on a deeper level. Level. I hope to win people over with my personality and not so my so much my physical beauty, and that they may fall in love with my story and with the work that I'm doing. And great things are to come. I partnered with the um, National Women's Commission in Belize. And as, as I said, Shine, I'm going to keep working with them. So stay uh, tuned for my journey and all the community work that I'm doing. So yeah, yeah. again, thank you, Iris Salguero, Miss Universe Belize 2020. And we're so excited for you. Continue to pray for us, guys, please, because we're working together. And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, thank you again for watching Pageant Talks with me, Gia La Sala. And make sure to follow and subscribe to all of our social media accounts and to Iris as well. She deserves your love, guys. And please do support Belize. Um, they may be in the other side of the world, but Belize and the Philippines, we're all, you know, we're just all one world anyway. So... Yes, there's a lot of similarities it. like i mentioned there's a lot of similarities i know and then you because you know what uh you you better visit geography now on youtube and you'd understand why uh, south america and the philippines has a lot of commonalities uh mm -hmm. partly because central america also has an asian descent and same with the, yep. with the philippines so yeah so thank you iris and watch thank out for too. yeah for our next episodes on miss universe uh 2020 with pageant talks and yes, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.